proud to call myself a native of San Francisco. Did my undergrad at Cal, went to grad school at USC, uh, went to residency, what's now called Cal Pacific, fellowship at uh, what's now called UC Davis. And when I finished training in 1987, then I started working here. Actually, I come from a background of teaching. My father was a teacher, my two brothers are teachers, my son's studying to be a teacher. I love teaching medical students. I love teaching younger doctors because that's, that's our future. When I have a medical student assigned to me, and I'm swamped with work, and I said, oh boy, I got so much work and I have a student with me. But when I finish my teaching assignment, I feel really rewarded, and it, it feels like a really, real fun part of medicine, having a young physician and I can help mentor and help them watch grow. Uh, that's, that's really rewarding. That's just one part of medicine that I really enjoy. The security position, one more of a personal position. There's been times where there have been attempted assaults, if not assaults, on the ER staff. We take it very personal when someone gets assaulted or attacked on our watch. I see it as family being assaulted and attacked. What gets me up and coming back every morning is the family atmosphere, you know, and that you're here to protect them, provide a safe work environment, the reciprocation of the staff that you protect and watch over. And not only the staff, you see the same customer base every day and you get to know them on a more personal basis. They know about you, you know about them, their treatments and their progress. And it's actually a very rewarding feeling. What makes me keep doing what I'm doing for the past 24 years and what makes me so passionate about nursing is the feeling I get when I take care of my patients. They, they're here because they're sick, and when they try their best to even open their mouth and say thank you for the care that I have provided for them, that's just priceless. Nursing is um, not for everyone, and I'm glad that it's for me. And I know that every time I come here and deliver care to my patients, I make a difference in how they feel. I feel fulfilled. I am extremely passionate about the work we do in our burn center. Everything changes, it's exciting. In our burn center, we take care of not only adults, but we also do pediatrics. And we see the sickest patients sometimes in the most critical phase when we have a large burn coming in. And we actually get to see them all the way through the end to the rehabilitation process. Working in a job where you can go home and know that you've done good work and that you've made a difference in people's lives. And whether it's a small burn or a large burn, it's a very traumatic experience for them. And so to know that I'm part of that process in taking care of the healing and that I'm part of a great team that does amazing work, to me, it's just the best feeling in the world. I went to medical school in Dublin, did part of my residency training in the UK, and then I came to the States in 73 to take a fellowship in nephrology at Washington University in St. Louis. And I subsequently joined the faculty and uh, was uh, an academician and researcher for about uh, 25 years. So I've been on the staff at St. Francis since 1997. I have a private consulting practice across the street, 909 Hyde. In addition to my nephrology practice, I also had a small internal medicine practice. And then I served as attending physician in the burn unit for the past uh, 20 plus years. All its physicians acquire various skill sets as we march our way through our careers. And it's uh, a wonderful feeling to be able to apply those skills in a variety of ways and to be supportive, particularly of the surgeons who are doing the heavy lifting along with the nursing staff. So it's all part of the whole. There's an entire group of people who provide extended care over the entire spectrum of care. And uh, the patient's future life trajectory has changed significantly as a result of that. I just love doing it. It's fun. We came here at the refugee. I was my two kids. My husband was sick of cancer. So I was five months pregnant, my third daughter. And my husband passed away in 1992, December 14th. 
So the most things he make me really attached by the hospital worker who's the patient was my husband. Um, I understand 100%. Any patient when he come to the hospital, he need my support. I used to ask help when my husband was sick. So I'm working in the hospital. I'm happy more than ever in my life because every single thing, every small thing I did to the patient, even though if I handle him ice and water, that make me very grateful. So I love to work until my last day here. I'm so happy I work in the hospital. I don't choose no other places job.